fire. Let's lift him up. Let's bless him. Just like we mean it. Woo, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Woo, glory. <laughs> Why don't you touch somebody and say that's just like him. That's just like him. Well, my friend, we're happy to bring to you this Bible Holiness Restoration Hour ministry from the St. Mark Church. And so frequently we say it is the church which is teaching and preaching Bible Holiness, and that is in accordance with the Word of God. We count it a privilege to come your way once again with this television ministry. I want you to know that God has been blessing in a great way, and that's just like Jesus, just like the Lord to bless us when we need blessing, to heal us when we need healing, and deliver us when we need deliverance. Let's just give them a round of applause. Let's just praise them real good. Woo! Bless him. We want to take time to thank you for your letters of correspondence those of you that have written us may god bless you we want you to know that we're thanking god once again for another day this is the day that the lord has made the bible said let us be glad and rejoice in it and today we're rejoicing in this day knowing that god is still god and jesus is still jesus and his word is still his word from the book of Psalms, Psalm 24, those of you that have your Bibles here and that are in television land, we want you to know that the Word of God is rich and powerful. It is quick and certainly powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing asunder unto the dividing of the soul and the spirit. The Bible said a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Many people today that are in struggles of life and have problematical situations that they have incurred along the pathway of life I say to you today they need Jesus in their lives nobody can do you like the Lord nobody I say nobody can do you like Jesus and those of you that are viewing this telecast don't forget if you need a miracle if you care to write us our address is the St. Mark Church Post Office Box 205 99 the Chicago Illinois zip code 60620 love to hear from you wherever you are the miracles of God continue to flow and I tell you people that are in touch with God and that are interconnected by the power of his might realize and recognize the strength that God has put within them because he gives power to the faint and them that have no might he increases the scripture says with strength and I love that Isaiah 40 even your young men shall faint and your youth shall utterly fall but they that wait upon the Lord he said shall renew their strength how many know they shall renew their strength they will mount up with wings as of eagles they will run and be not weary he said they will walk and they will not faint. Somebody give the Lord a praise for that today. Woo! Glory! Hallelujah. Very important passage of scripture here in Psalm 24. And I'd like you to examine it with me as God has placed it in our soul to give to you. We want to thank God for all of our distinguished guests that are here today. Amen. And certainly we'll call their names right after the telecast. But we want to know we recognize them being here. And the Bible have declared it in Psalm 24 and 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord. Look what he said strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle lift up your heads O ye gates and even lift them up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in the question was asked who is the king of glory look at somebody say who is the king of glory now tell them say the lord of hosts he is the king of glory can you give him a praise knowing that he's the king of glory? Do you believe he's the king of glory? He's the king. He's the king of glory. Oh, hallelujah. That's all right. We can praise him for being our king. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. He is the king of glory. I love that scripture because we know without a doubt that the Lord is king. And he's not only king, but he's the king of glory. 
When we read in the book of Isaiah, the Bible says this, I am the Lord. He said, that is my name. He said, and my glory I will not give to another, neither my praises to graven images. See, God is the king of glory. I said, he's the king of glory. I have a throne set it in my heart and God sits upon that throne because he is my king. He's the king of glory. Can we say hallelujah? Somebody ought to just praise him for being the king. Oh, by the higher Woo, glory. The king of glory. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and ask them, say, do you understand? Say, do you understand who the king of glory is? I'm talking about the king. The king. Honey, the king of glory. Oh, we got the best. We got to pray. We got, we have to lift him up. We have all oh, my yacht. Woo, glory. Stand on your feet and give the king a praise. Give the king a praise. He's the king of glory. He's the king of glory. Hey. Woo. Woo. Hallelujah. How many know he's worthy to be king? He's worthy to be king. Hallelujah. When I looked at this scripture, I said it's a blessing to know who, who the king is. He is the king. And, and the one scripture, when it translated to Jesus Christ said, amen, he said the lion. Is that what he said? Of the tribe of Judah. He was called a lion. He was called a king. He was, listen, he was called a mediator. He was called a high priest. He was called the first and the last. The present and the past. But right now, he's the king of glory. Say yeah. I said say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. It's a blessing to know that. Talk somebody say it's a blessing to know that. Lift up those hairs. Lift up those hairs. Lift up those hairs on your gates. And be you lifted up you everlasting doors. And the king of glory. Is that what he said? And we praise him today just for being our king. Now listen. In the life of God's people, God was not always the king. Because the children of Israel, they wanted another king. And we'll get into that in a few minutes. But we that are saved and we that have been delivered from the power of darkness and translated and placed into the kingdom of God's dear son, we know that he's the king of glory. Why do we praise him? Because he's the king of glory. Why do we magnify him? Because he's the king of glory. Why do we lift him up? Because he's the king of glory. Hallelujah. Why do we bow down to him? I said, why do we bow down to him? Because he's the king. Somebody say the king. Yeah, the king of glory. Go ahead on and pray. Oh, my God. He's worthy of those praises. He's worthy of those praises. He's worthy of those praises. I said he's worthy.
translated down to Jesus Christ because the, he said all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth so God if you will have transmitted the authority the kingdom and the kingdom ship into the hands of Jesus Christ that's why they called him Lord of Lords and King of Kings can I get a witness in this place he's the King of Glory See, he's not just anybody's king, but he's the king of glory. The praise is in the glory belongs to him. The magnification belongs to him. He's worthy of all of the praises of the exaltation. He's worthy to be extolled. He's worthy to be blessed. He's worthy to be lifted up. Give him some praise in this place. Yes, yes, yes. He is worthy. 
I just want to get into the message here. Amen. You have to realize when Jesus Christ comes back to the earth, he's coming back to sit on the throne. He said the throne of his glory. That's what the Bible said. So when we look at the word, it's saying lift up your heads, O ye gates. In other words, fling wide ye gates and open the ancient doors. That's what it's talking about. Hallelujah. Amen. Just, just open those gates wide. Hallelujah. Open those, open them wide. And, and, and he said, look, he said, hallelujah, and open the ancient doors. Just open them wide so the king of glory. How many you know the king of glory is real? Honey, I'm, listen, I'm not talking about the king of Persia. I'm not talking about the king of Egypt. I'm not I'm talking about the king of Saudi Arabia. I'm talking about the king of glory. Can we say hallelujah? He's worthy of all the places. Hallelujah. He's the deliverer and the savior all wrapped up in one. And anybody that don't know him, I tell you, you need to know this king of glory. Can we say hallelujah? See, he, the Bible said he'll come in. How many know he'll come in? If you open the gates wide, if you open the doors wide, the king of glory shall come in. And they asked the question, they said, who is the king of glory? Somebody said, the Lord, mighty and strong. He's the Lord victorious in battle. He's the Lord. He's the God of battles. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. What did they say? Who is? They said, who is? Hey, who is? Whoa. Strong. Say he's the Lord, mighty in battle. The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Now clap your hand and give him some praise and know that he's the King of glory. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah? Let's say glory today. Listen, God is King. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We don't have to guess about it, wonder about it, theorize. God is our King. Amen, somebody. And I tell you, when you recognize him as king of glory, the praises will spring up in your soul. The praises will emanate from your heart. The joy of the Lord will begin to run through your life and get all in your feet and get in your hands and get in your mind and get in your spirit. And before you know it, God, they on the floor giving them some glory and thanks and saying hallelujah, saying glory to God and wonderful Savior because he's the king. Tell somebody he's the king. I said the king of glory. Uh. Woo. Hey. Oh. Oh. The king of glory. The king of glory. Tell somebody he's the king of glory. Woo. I'm not about to do it. <laughs> Go ahead on and praise him. We're not about to sit down on God. We're going to magnify him. We're going to give him glory. You may dial these prayer line numbers 779 779-9249. If you're being blessed out there by this telecast, knowing that God is the king of glory, I want 30 people to call up right now and say, Bishop Terry, God is the king of glory. He's the king in my life. He's the king of my soul. He's the king of my heart. He's the king of my strength. God is, I said, God is the king of glory. Now go ahead on and just give him a little more praise. Before we get down to the nitty gritty. Bible. 
all through the scriptures from the book of Daniel to the book of Revelation we find God has always been king he's always been king even when they didn't want him to be king God was still the king can we say hallelujah and I have a problem with these people setting up all these other kings and all these other authoritative personalities saying this is the king of my life this is the king honey God is the king of my life he's the king of my heart can we say hallelujah and see when the Bible said open amen open up your gates just open them wide just fling open those gates and open up those doors amen those doors that are ancient those doors that are everlasting those doors that have been before there was a when or where open up those doors in the most shallow and the king of glory look what he said he shall come in that's why they asked the question who is this great king who is this wonder who is this one in authority who is this one that set it upon the throne and God said in the word he said heaven is my throne did he say that and earth is my footstool so if you have a throne that means you're a king can we say hallelujah I don't know nobody sitting on the throne that's not called a king put your hand together and give him some praise in here and tell somebody he's the king of glory how many of you believe that today just touch somebody next to you and say I know he is See, I know he is. He's the king of glory. He's the one that have shown us the way. He's the potentate. He's the chief shepherd of the sheep. He's the day star arising. He's the bishop of our soul. Hallelujah. He was there before there was a when or before there was a where. God was still king. Because as the Bible said, in the beginning God created, look what he said, the heavens and the earth. And the earth was void and without form. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the deep. Is that what he said? And see, God was the one that said, behold, let there be light. Don't tell me he's not king. Listen, he's king of glory. He's king that is worthy of praises. One scripture says he is our eternal king. And that means he's our everlasting king. God, my friend, will never ever give up the kingdomship. He will never ever give up the throne to the devil. How many of you hear what I'm saying? The devil even in, in the book of 2 Thessalonians wanted to get over there and sit up in the, in, in the temple as though he's God. And listen, God is the one that's going to destroy him. Because we know that God will not give his glory to another. Look at somebody say the glory belongs to him. So the Bible said, the Bible said in 1 Corinthians, let him that glory, look what he said, let him glory in who? You got the glory, listen, you have to learn the glory in the Lord. You have to learn to praise God when nobody else is praising him. You have to know and recognize that he is my king. He is my way. He is my savior. He is my deliverer. He is my healer. He is my blesser. He is my rock. He is the one that sets on the heart. He is the one that calls my mind in. He's the one that takes me through when nobody else can take me through. Look at somebody say he is the king of glory. How do you know he's the king of glory? See, that's why we praise him. People wonder why, why do these people praise God. Honey, they look at us and they say, those folk are crazy over there. Well, we're crazy for God because we know he's the king of glory. They don't say nothing when they're hitting the home run in the White Sox Park. They don't say nothing when they're throwing the touchdown in the Bears field, Soldier Field. They don't say nothing when the Bulls hit a three-pointer. They just act, they act like they're crazy. They're jumping and running. But when we shout because we have a king, when we praise God because he's the king of glory, they call us crazy. Can we say hallelujah? But shake somebody's hand and say he is the king of glory. Say, not just anybody's king. Not just any king. He's the king of glory. I have to get that point over to you because people don't understand why we praise him so much. Honey, it's the will of God in all of his splendor, in all of his glory and magnification, in all of the goodness and kindness and the beauty of the Lord. Honey, we have to realize that he's still king and he sits upon the throne. And the Bible told us, amen, that we're heirs of God. Did it say that? And we're joint heirs with Christ. Listen, let me tell you one thing, beloved. We are the children of the king. Does somebody say I'm a child? of the king honey listen you're not worried about royalty you're not worried about being adopted in the royal family God 
God have already chosen you. Jesus said, I've chosen you. You have not chosen me. And I'm walking up the King's Highway. I'm giving him praise and glory. All the way. Can we say hallelujah? I'm telling the devil, you once had me a wretch undone. I was miserable. I was sad. We were hateful and hating one another. We were serving divers lust. We were in idolatry. Can we say hallelujah? But God sent Jesus into the world. And he died on the cross of Calvary. Can we say hallelujah? And the Bible lets us know that when he comes back, he's coming to sit on this throne of glory. It's called the throne of David. Can we say hallelujah? And you know what he's going to say? Come all ye that love the Lord and inherit the kingdom prepared for you before the foundation of the world. Can we say glory? Somebody say glory. Say he is. Look at somebody say he is. say we have to praise him. Tell somebody we have to praise him. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. The king of glory. I said the king of glory. There's praises for him. There's honor that goes up. Amen. There's riches. There's power and there's might. And I wouldn't live a day without saying thank you. Hallelujah. For being my king. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for being my glory. Can we say amen? He said, I will be in the midst of them. A royal diadem. Can we say hallelujah? And that's a precious, precious stone. Can we say hallelujah? And I believe when we look over there in the scripture in the book of Numbers, it said, God is not a man that he should lie. He said, neither he's the son of man that he should repent. He said, if he said it, and will he not make it good? Have he spoken it, and will he not bring it to pass? And listen what he said. When Balak, amen, was asked in Balaam to curse the children of Israel, he said, I've seen no perverseness in Israel. I've seen no iniquity in Israel. And not only that, but the shout of the king is in the midst of them. Can we say hallelujah? Honey, we need the shout of the king in the midst of us. And we can really praise God and really give him glory. Can we say hallelujah? Tell somebody say the shout. The shout of the king is in the midst. Can we say hallelujah? Therefore, Balak, amen, was told by Balaam, or told Balaam, he said, how can I bless what God has cursed? And how can I curse what God has blessed? In other words, it cannot be reversed. It cannot be turned around. If God said it, it's going to come to pass. If the Lord spoke it, he's going to make it good. Can we say hallelujah? To somebody say glory. Say glory to the King Almighty. Can we say hallelujah? See, we're part of that royal priesthood. Tell somebody we're part of the royal priesthood. Oh, glory. Listen, I don't care if you're poor as Joe's turkey. I don't care if you don't have two pennies to rub together. When you're saved, when you're delivered, and not God chosen the poor of this world. He said, rich in faith. Can we say hallelujah? We're the king's children. Tell somebody we belong to the king. And not just anybody's king, but the king of glory. Can we say hallelujah? There's a shout among us. There's a praise among us. There's a victory. There's a joy. There's a happiness. There's a glory that's in the midst. Can we say hallelujah? Now in these days, when the king come in, everybody bows down and begin to kiss the floor and begin to do our awesome. Can we say hallelujah? And that's why I said open ye. Open these doors. Open these gates. And the king of glory shall come in. I don't know about you, but I want to get down on my knees and give him glory and say you're the king the king of heaven the king of earth the king of all can we say glory yeah good God almighty the Bible lets me know that the children of Israel hallelujah was obeying Samuel but Samuel got old in his days and here's what the Bible said that Samuel's sons began to mess up and did not walk in the ways of Samuel so the people at Carmel, the whole congregation, they said, Samuel, they said, you're old in days, and your sons are not walking in your ways, so make us a king like the other nations that will go before us and fight our battle. Can we say glory? They might not understand that God said, the battle's not yours, but the battle is the Lord's. Yeah, I say, yeah. 
put your hand together and say the battle, the battle belongs to my king. And they say hallelujah. The Bible let me know. Hallelujah. They begin to talk. And God told Samuel. He said, Samuel, go tell them what kind of king I'm going to send before him. They wanted a king, so I'm going to give them a king. But tell them the mannerism of this king that he's going to make their daughters. Amen. Bakers. Hallelujah. And cooks. He's going to make them confectionaries. He's going to take the sons and cause them to make instruments of war. Can we say hallelujah? You wanted a king like the other nations. God said, I'm going to give you a king. But watch out because they're going to bring you the ruins. Can we say hallelujah? You're going to be desperate to come back to me. And when you come back, he said, I will not hear you. Can we say glory? I said, say glory. Samuel told him he's going to take your servants and take the vineyards and take the olive yards and give them to his servants. He's going to take everything away from you and give it to his people. That's what that king's going to do. Can we say hallelujah? And I heard Samuel saying, they have a king. God is their king. But they don't want God. In the like that today, the world don't want King Jesus. I said the world don't want the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Can we say hallelujah? If you get him on the inside, he'll make you anew. Because of Christ, you will be delivered. Because of Christ, you will be saved. Because of Christ, he'll turn your sorrow into joy. Because of Christ, you'll have love shared abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost. Can we say glory? Say glory. The people of the kingdom knew that Jesus was the king because when he made his last ride into Jerusalem, a triumphant ride, they began to put down palm branches and leaves and saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. He's a king riding on the coat of an ass. Can we say hallelujah? Riding into Jerusalem, victory over his shoulders, power over his life, and everybody was bowing down. Here comes the king riding on a donkey. Here comes the king coming to Jerusalem. Say glory. I said say glory. They didn't know he was not just a king, but king of kings, king of all kings. As great as Solomon was, Jesus was greater than he. Can we say hallelujah? Even the woman, the queen that came from the south, said, wait a moment. I beheld what he has, and the has have not been told. But when you look at Jesus, everything belongs to him. Can we say glory? I said, say glory. King. Can you say king? King. King of glory. King of praise. King of life. King of love. King of heaven. King of joy. King of happiness. Can we say yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. Somebody say the king of glory. Hallelujah. Now the Bible said the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. It said the world and they that dwell therein. It said he's amen. It said and they and dwell therein. For he has founded it. Look at here. Upon the seas. And he, hallelujah. He's established it upon the floods. And what that means is he's built it. Amen. On the depth of the waters. Beneath the earth. Amen. And laid it. Laid the foundations. Amen. In the ocean's depth. Honey, can't nobody do that but God. Can't no man go down there and drill some type of uh, well. And, and plant some something and establish something and build something on the bottom of the lake on the bottom of the ocean it takes God can we say hallelujah because he's the one that separated amen the clouds and the earth he separated the waters from the earth can we say hallelujah he made the seas he sounded the floods hallelujah God is the one that sends the storms sends the snow and send the rain and when lightning flash honey that's nothing but the Lord permitted it to flash can we say hallelujah but he's the one that built it hallelujah he built it look at here on the depth of the waters beneath the earth you know there's earth under the water how do you understand that if you go down to the depth of the sea you'll see nothing but mountains and rocks and caves and everything because that water has covered what was once land but when the deluge came when the flood came in it covered the whole earth and everything that was 
living died. Can we say hallelujah? Oh, I love this king. I love how he works. I love who he is. He's the maker and he is the creator. Hallelujah. He was there, beloved, when nobody else was there. He was there when heaven wasn't there. He was there when the earth wasn't there. Hallelujah. And in the pitchness of the blackness of the darkness of nothingness, God spoke and said, let there be light. And light came into existence. Can we say hallelujah? And the Bible said he made the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. I said, look at our king. All he has to do is step back and say, let there be. It's the spoken word. Hallelujah. He didn't have to take a hammer. He didn't have to take a saw. He didn't have to make nothing. But just step back a foot and say, let there be. And it came into creation. Can we say glory? I don't care about you know what people say. The Bible said the word of God. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Without him was not anything made that was made. So everything you see, the bushes and the rabbits, the elephants and the giraffes, the crocodiles and alligators, everything was made by God. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Can we say hallelujah? He's established it upon the seas. He founded it upon the floods. Now who has a right to come to the hill of the Lord and to enter into his holy temple? Who has that right? Can we say glory? Who shall ascend? Is that what he said? To the hill of the Lord. Can we say glory? Let me tell you who has that right. He that has clean hands and a pure heart. For I heard Paul saying, lift up holy hands without wrath and doubting. Say glory. I said say glory. You got to have a praise. You got to have some power. You have to be victorious to enter into the hill of the Lord and to stand in his holy place because God is not just any God. He's a king. He's a holy king. He's a righteous king. He's a king that will take you higher. And I heard somebody saying he will lead you from glory to glory. Say glory to glory. Yeah, glory. Hallelujah. The Bible let me know. I said the Bible let me know. Everybody on the earth, everybody in the earth belongs to him. It said hallelujah if he has clean hands and a pure heart and not lifted his soul up to vanity. No, I be sworn deceitfully. See, we can't be involved with falsehood. We can't give false promises. Oh, amen, somebody. We can't tell lies and lie to our neighbor because he's our king and he's the king of glory. Can we say hallelujah? If you possess that you have him on the inside, if you know that he's living in you and dwelling on the throne of your heart, honey, you can't be full for coming forth with false promises. You can't tell people one thing, look out somebody, and do another. Can we say hallelujah? It said, lift up your, head, your soul unto vanity. There are people that's lifting up their soul unto vanity. In other words, it's an act of aim and violation. It's an act, praise God, of vanity. And vanity means nothingness. There's no, listen, there's no nothing positive about vanity. Vanity is dealing with negativity. And we're not lifting up our soul to vanity. And we're not swearing what? Deceitfully. You got people that are deceitful out here. They won't tell you nothing. Amen. That's right for save their lives. But I tell you, we're not deceitful when we have the power of God. We're not deceitful when the Lord is living in us. When we're shouting and praising and giving God glory and saying you are the king of glory. Honey, we're not deceitful, but our heart is pure. And Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Can we say hallelujah? Tell somebody say our hearts have to be pure. Tell them again our hearts have to be pure. It said he shall receive the blessing of the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. And then it said Selah. I want you to know today we're going to receive the blessing. God's going to send us the blessing. Showers. Tell somebody say showers. Showers of blessings will descend on your life. Don't worry about what the devil's telling you. Don't worry about what demons are saying. Blessings will belong to you. Blessings will come to you. He shall receive the blessings of the Lord and the righteousness of the God of his salvation. Can we say glory? For this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face. Oh, Jacob, lift those up. Lift those hands up. Tell somebody, say, lift them up. You've been burning down. You've been sad. 
You've been mad and filled with anxiety. The devil has confused your life. Don't know which way to go. Don't know what to do. But lift them up. Lift them up. Cause them to fling open. Cause them to open wide. Oh, ye gates, be ye lifted up. Ye ever lasting doors. And the king, somebody say the king. Say the king of glory shall come in. Clap your hands, say he is the king of glory. Can we say hallelujah? I'm in Psalm 95 and 1. 